Tonight is the night here at the Wonder Gallery. I take on Der Golem. Well, Der Golem, you're gonna need more than a few magic words to put me down. He's gonna find out. Ursula Van Levy's gonna find out. And everybody in the Wonder Gallery is gonna find out why I am called the Bruiser. Favorites. I'm not a big fan of Bruiser Bracken. Look at the size of that man! It doesn't matter, he just, he's not one of these guys that overly impresses me. I don't like that he's here. I don't like the way he uh, acts to me in the locker room. And quite frankly, I think he's doing double duty, and I think he's barricades. That's right. Herschel Ben Levy, yes, bringing the Samaritan yes. gold. This is exactly Wait, who is needed here. What's, what is Herschel Ben Levy doing? Don't you know he's playing Pokemon Go? Oh, he's been playing it on. for two and a half weeks. The Golem's playing Pokemon Go too. Well, an yes. app that's definitely captured the hearts and minds of many different people. It's obviously got a very strong effect on both of them. It's actually, I heard yesterday that Golem actually managed to get himself a Geodude, which is basically a Golem. Well, that's perfect. I mean, you gotta love Herschel Van Levy. One of the uh, people that holds this company together, one of the people that's been here from the start, knows exactly what he's doing as a manager. Oh, I, I, will, never, I will never argue with that, even though Herschel and I have different- I think he's got one. Ideals as to what a proper wrestler should be. I think he but found he a Pokemon. He leads men to the top. He definitely captured one. Definitely. Yes. It's on that idiot. Wait, what, what is this idiot? Mighty Map. What? From 102.1. The Edges guy didn't Davis. work at 102.1. You know what his name is. No, 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 no. Mark Davis. We are very, very close to finding the Pikachu. Is the Golem trying to capture Bruiser Kraken with a Pokeball? Yes, that's exactly what he is. He's just a big fat Pokemon. Trying to be a wrestler here at BCW. Oh, come off it. Bruiser Bracken is not a big fat Pokemon. Oh, take a look at his track record here at BCW. Wins, zero. Losses, thousands. And look at this bruiser. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Jumping up and down on the mat isn't gonna get you nowhere. You're in the ring with the golem right now. Look at these two massive masses of humanity. Oh, we got a lock up. This is what happens when the unstoppable force meets the moon. Well, the brother's saying he's going nowhere. A maniacal laugh. And the golem's gotta forget about these fans and get his head in the game here. The golem stomping on the ground. Very little is known about these two men. One from parts unknown, one from Israel. Another lock up in. Oh, they going they're nowhere. Huge, and look at Bruiser with the boot to the midsection, taking advantage. Big right hands. Call is set into the corner and. Big shoulder tackles. He's got a lock in that ring. And that referee Nick Wildy, I mean, he's got to break this up. And I mean, what a win it would be if the Golem can actually. I mean, if the Bruiser, whoa! Straight over the top, if the Bruiser could actually get a win over the Golem, that would be the most impressive thing he's done here at VCW. And that's the mistake that the Golem is making right now. He said the Golem, or sorry, Bruiser, I hate this idiot. Pokemon piece of garbage. 
He sends the golem over the top rope and doesn't capitalize. You got to be outside. He's definitely taking advantage of that. Definitely making a mistake, not capitalizing on him being outside of the ring. But Bracken's waiting, and now they're back in the ring together. Big clothesline missed. Bracken comes back. Big right hands. The green Goliath taking the golem. Trying to pick him up, but going nowhere. No. Not quite. The golem turns it around. Oh yeah. And that's just where the bruiser does not want to be. Oh, what forearms. Is he going to pick him up? And picks him up with ease. That's it. Finish up, Golem. Finish up. What a slam. Bracken weighs 250 pounds. And picked him up like nobody's business. The Golem has taken control of this match right now. Take a look at the goalie here. Don't look at me, Matt Bradley. Get your eyes on this match. You're worried about these idiot fans here. They don't know what they're talking about. stalking his prey. He's got Bracken up. What's it's he got him locked in here. This is great. Knocked the air right out of him. The Bruiser is going nowhere. And he's got a lot of modified bear hug. Center of the ring. Back and say no. Oh! A heart punch. I think that's it. I think he's finished. Herschel Ben Levy's still getting the Pokemons on the outside. But Bruiser Bracket is going nowhere right now. Another hard punch! Wow! Another massive hard punch! Beautiful! And that's how the Golem has been finishing his matches. I mean, he just does not give a damn. Bracken's almost dead weight. That hard punch took so much out of him. He's basically dead weight. Oh, a hard punch! Two hard right punches. center of the ring, yes! Brilliant! Brilliant. I've never seen such barbarism before. Hard punch after hard finish, punch. He's finished. He's finished. Call the match, Bradley. You're the president. Call it right now. This is great. Nick DeWildy going for a 10 count. It's over. We got our first knockout here at VCW here tonight. He ain't getting up. He's not getting up. I've never seen Bracken this helpless. He has never been in the ring with a golem before. Not a match like this. It's over. And a 10 it's count. Over. Here is your winner by referee stoppage, the golem. And Herschel Ben Levy is having a celebration. Where are you going, Bradley? What is wrong with you? You're supposed to be doing commentary with me. How many times are you going to interfere in this broadcast tonight? What do you mean that's enough? Finish up Golem. Brilliant. Brilliant. Matt Bradley, for some reason, favoring Bruiser Bracken. That's what I don't like about this president. He's got his favorites here at BCW, and I don't happen to be one of them. And we'll be right back. Stay tuned, fans. The Bruiser may be out of ECW. <laughs> wow, what a way to start our show today, folks. Hutch Henry's here for Hogtown Wrestling Showcase, brought to you by Sonic Boom Records and CDs. Now, at the end of the match there, we saw President Matt Bradley assisting Bruiser Bracken out of the ring. He was extremely distressed, as well as I, at how the Golem repetitively, repetitively heart-punched Bracken could have ended the man's career. And that was not the first time we have seen this kind of behavior from the Golem. Recently, last month at our show, facing the mighty Atlantis, completely disregarding referees' instructions, that match descended into chaos, the whole thing was thrown out, and then, away from the prying eyes of our cameras here at Hogtown Pro Wrestling, the Golem attacking mighty Atlantis, injuring him, and putting him out of action for the 
the foreseeable future. So, Matt Bradley has brought down the hammer and he has administered a two-month suspension to the Sumerian Golem. And I can tell you, Herschel Ben Levy was absolutely incredulous about this. You can check out his reaction online. But there's nothing he can do about it, folks. We will not be seeing the Sumerian Golem here for the foreseeable future. Now, speaking of the future, our main event this evening, Jackson Jarvis taking on Dirty Rex Atkins, former tag team partners going at it, and Dirty Rex has certainly been up to no good. Also, away from the prying eyes and cameras here at Hogtown Pro, he has been stalking Jackson's family, his wife, his newborn child, leaving creepy messages for them, and I can tell you Jackson has had enough. Not only that, interfered a few months ago, cost Jackson Jarvis the open weight title, pile drived him right in the center of the ring, that's what started this whole thing, but I can tell you Dirty Rex has been fanning the flames and Jackson Jarvis absolutely demanded this. Went to the board of directors, said, I want Dirty Rex Atkins in the ring and that will happen tonight here in our main event on Hot Count Press. What? Man, we have had some serious technical difficulties around here lately at Hogtown Pro. Our, our telecom systems, our recording systems. In fact, myself and Jay Moore will be doing overdubs here at Hogtown headquarters for the next two matches on the show. We lost our recordings at the show. All kinds of stuff's been going on here. And personally, I think it's probably Mysterion or one of his minions, knowing that man. But... Coming up next, an incredible match. The D-Man, Daniel Parker, last time lost to the lover in the ring. A handicap match with Saki-san. Well, he came and he made the challenge right there and then after the match. He challenged the lover to a match with one hand tied behind his back. He was certain he could beat this man. And the frustration had finally reached a boiling point. And it's been signed, folks. Let's get down to the ring right now. Daniel Parker taking on the lover with one hand tied behind his back. Well, here comes the lover for our second match here on the broadcast this evening. I don't know where uh, Jess is. That's the young lady's name. Who's Jess, how did you find her? Are you snooping? I you have snooping been snooping. That's room? my job. You're a to creeper. Snoop. Jay Moore. Yeah, you've been snooping on Facebook. I know you. I am a <clears throat> broadcast journalist. <laughs> I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> yes, well, and here comes the D man, Daniel Parker. And very intelligently, Matt Bradley has banned everybody from ringside fan for ringside, which I think is completely ridiculous. Billy Bradley is probably the worst president, the worst commissioner that any wrestling promotion has had. And he's rebranded this hog town. It's not ridiculous. The D-Man has offered to have his hand tied behind his back. The lover been cheating every single time to get a victory. And he believes in his heart and soul that he can beat the lover. <laughs> and Matt Bradley smart enough to ban everybody from ringside here. Now, Hutch, who would offer that? Would you offer that in a fight that you're going to tie one hand behind your back? Yeah, uh, no, I would not do that. The D-Man is an awesome, he's a great kid, but he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Wow, I can't believe you said that about the D-Man. Let me write that one down. Well, I mean, uh, this is not the smartest move here. I'm sure you could have got a rematch without the stipulation. D-Man, your friend is turning on you here. And we are going to be back after these commercials, get the D-Man all tied up, and we're going to have this match for you folks. Stay tuned, and thanks for joining us here on Rogers Television. All right, welcome back to Hogtown Pro Wrestling. There is our official bell, and the D-Man is seriously putting something on the line here. His health with one arm tied behind his back, Jay Moore. Yeah, what's he going to do, walk up here with the lover? I mean, uh, the lover is limiting himself. Obviously mocking D-Man, going for a Gre Greco-Roman knuckle lock, but D-Man only has one arm well, available. It's his own stupidity. I mean, he's the one that offered, as you say, one arm tied behind his back. And I mean, if he can't wrestle with one arm tied behind his back, he needs this kind of motivation, Jay. You know, he's been on a losing streak of losing streaks for a long, long time. And the lover's been cheating his way to victory's oh. left, right, and center. And the D-man, there we go. That's the kind of that's offense he's going to have to great utilize. Great motivation. Why doesn't he try some meditating or something? Or why doesn't he get in the ring and do some more well, training? Well, that's what I was Maybe you're right. I was going to say the D-man is getting extremely frustrated. And this is the kind of motivation he needs. A match like this with something on the line. He's being embarrassed more than just a regular loss. Going for the leg on the lover. Perhaps he does need a little bit of meditation. Yes. Going for a leg on the lover. I mean, that's what you got to do. I guess it's the only way to get the lover down if you're limited to one hand. Look at this. He's obviously been thinking about his offense and what he was going to do. Oh, gets cut off by the lover. You know, you're the reason this is, this is happening. You mean I'm the reason? I don't even talk to the demon. That he lost to the lover. He came over to the the commentary area, 
and you kind of goaded him in. You were calling him names, telling him he was a loser, and then he offered. To, he said, I can do this with one hand, hide my hand, my back, I can beat this guy. And then it looks like the higher-ups kind of held him to it. Well, yeah, you want to open your mouth. I'm just trying to get an exclusive interview with the D-man. You want to run your mouth here at Hogtown. They're going to they're gonna put you up. They're going to put the money where your mouth is, bud. Well, these guys both have open contracts, and I'm sure Saki San slithered right in there and got it all done. I mean, Hutch, you know Thankfully, damn well here. here at Hogtown. We kind of throw the rule book out the window here. It's a rough, tough environment here at Hogtown, here at the Super Window Gallery. We're here to fight. Boys are here to throw I, down. I am not even, we do not throw the rule book out the window here at Hogtown. I don't know what you're talking about. Unfortunately, some of the uh, wrestlers, more unscrupulous men on the roster, they like to throw the rule book out the window. Let's reflect back, if you will, on some of the stuff that you've done with Jackson Jarvis bending the rules. He should be oh, out please. of the promotion altogether. Listen, this oh. is not the big leagues. Hogtown Pro, we use a lot of students, a lot of young guys, guys on their way up, and that includes referees. So these guys, they take advantage of these refs. And look at that suplex by the lover early on. I mean... That's what I'm talking about. Did you see D-Man flopping around in a lot of pain there? Almost a hammer yeah, style Yeah, well, he gets suplexed suplex. by the lover, and not only on his back, but uh, the arm on his arm, behind exactly. his back. So. We're going to throw out his shoulder. If he's, if he's got a clenched fist, he could even pop out a knuckle, could hurt his hands. There's lots of ways. Big chop break to the chest, and Lover wrist. dominating his match thus far. D-Man with a single chop. Some lovely ladies there in the front row, obviously enjoying what they see with the D-Man. What do you think the D-Man? I'm thinking the Lover. Well, with both of these guys. I just mean the struggle. You know, women like to see a man who cares about something, who's really into something. I suddenly realized with all the weirdos watching this show, they probably think I'm into this. Actually, Lover does a lot of uh, modeling gigs here in the GTA. I actually know a lot about this guy. He's a good guy. He's got an online blog. You can check it out. I'm trying to remember what it is. Stud Enomics. Like, Stud Enomics. This guy's yeah. such a stud. He's trying to tell other guys how to pick up rods and whatnot. He certainly is the Lover. It's an apropos name. Studenomics.com. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Reverse thrust kick from the D-Man. And everybody's impressed. Not just the ladies oh. in the front row with what's going on in the ring here. Big roundhouse boot, and in the midsection, the lover down. Well, the D-man is losing a lot of energy quick. This is, uh, you know, I'm, oh. trying to keep your balance, trying to do more. Let's check that out. It is difficult to move around with one Bobby, hand tied behind your him. back. You got to drop him right here. Wow, look at this. Rings a Saturn-style submission. Right center of the ring, and the lover's got nowhere to go. Octopus style, too. This is incredible. Lover's in big trouble here. He's got to get to the ropes or drop the D-man. There oh. we go. Flipping him over to a pin bound. Oh, no. Two count only. Lover back to his feet. Exciting stuff here at Super Wonder Gallery. Nice schoolboy roll up from the lover. D-Man, what's going on here? LaBelle lock style arm trap. And look now at again, look what he's done. Well, that's impressive. Pulling him in the rings. D-Man's been at battle. Oh, and he's got the hands locked behind his back now. Grabbed his other hands. He must have been that's doing- That's it. Oh, that's it. It's over. The lover is submitted here to the D-Man. And the D-Man gets his first victory here at Hogtown. I can't believe it. And he's well deserved. With one arm tied behind his back, this is unbelievable. I knew he could do it. I mean, it is impressive. Well, it looks like he's in a lot of pain. I'm sure he threw his arm out very, very close to the beginning of the match. Well, let's hope so. To. Let's hope so. Congratulations to the D-man, Daniel Parker, the ref, checking on him, making sure he's okay. Yeah, he's fine, fucks. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. Is this match even over? Maybe it, it was only over. a two count. No, the lover submitted loud and proud. Everybody heard it. I didn't hear it. Wait a Here minute. Here comes Jim Nye. Been helping out the D-man lately. What's Jim Nye got to do with this? Wow, the D-man came to his rescue just last episode. That's what I mean about throwing the rule book out the window at Hogtown Pro. Deny it all you want. D-Man should be fired. We'll be back after these commercials with some more action at Hogtown Pro Wrestling. Jackson Jarvis, you want to know... You want to know why I did what I did. And there's nothing I can tell you that's going to make you feel better. Truth is, Jackson, I'm just tired of seeing every single person suck up to you. I'm tired of not being the number one guy. 
Everyone looks up to you, Jackson. Yet where is everyone to look up to me? I had the longest undefeated streak in victory in Commonwealth Wrestling history. And where was my title shot? Oh yeah, I had one against Goliath. And what happened? I got screwed just like I've been getting screwed my whole life. It's time things turn around and go my way. It's time things go my way, Jackson. Things are going to go my way from now on. Well, here is our main event on the program this evening in the ring now, Dirty Rex Atkins. I don't know what is up with the attitude of this guy lately. Taking on his former tag team partner, the professional Jackson Jarvis, and recently cost Jarvis the open weight title pile drive to interfered in a title match. Oh yeah, you can laugh all you want. Whoa, whoa, go. look at Jarvis. Oh, damn, all over Rex Atkins. And this is what I'm talking about. He deserves all of this. Professional coming in unprofessionally before the bell even rings all over Rex Atkins here. Well, I know he's definitely gotten under the skin, a little kerfuffled here. Well, not a little kerfuffled. He is completely out of his mind, lost all of that professional composure and dignity that he usually has. And he's all over Dirty Rex, who's been a dirty SOB ever since this has gone down. And who even knows why? Well, I know why. He doesn't like coming to Toronto, for one thing. He doesn't like the people in Toronto. He doesn't like the big cities. We're talking about a redneck here. And look at Billy Bradley standing there like a complete moron. This is your president of Hogtown? Good choice. He's all over him. Oh, right into the wall, Right Jay. into the drywall. Someone's going to have to pay for that. And here we go. Into oh. the steel now, Jackson Jarvis taking the stuff and right out of Dirty Rex Forget here. Forget about it, disqualify him. Suspend him. But there's no bell yet. What do you mean suspend him, disqualify him? This is a professional. You call this man a professional? This is completely against anything. Look at the referees coming. Look at the security. Now we've got all our referees and security here trying to get Jackson Jarvis under control out. here. Throw it out. Throw it out. Throw this match out. No, get composure. Get it started properly. That's what I say. Not only throw it out, find and suspend Jackson Jarvis from any future activity here at Hot Well, you know, I, I don't want to agree with you, Jay, but it is getting to that point when the authorities are in there. Look, our locker room emptying out here. When it gets to this point, you better start listening to authority around here. Well, thank God Ronnie Gaff's in there. Maybe he'll save the day. Well, I don't care how angry Jackson is. I know this man personally, and I know he can get his composure if he wants to. his family. Jackson Jarvis getting some composure here. We'll be back after these commercials and we're going to have this match for you folks. Our main event on the program no, no, this evening. No. Throw it out. Finally some revenge. Matt Bradley making sure this match is going to happen and I'm proud of it. Greetings wrestling fans. Hutch Henry's here with our Hogtown Wrestling special report. Hogtown Wrestling returns to the Super Wonder Gallery on Friday, November 11th but for the very last time time. The gallery will no longer be functioning as of the end of the year, so join us on Friday, November 11th as we bring out indie wrestling superstar Speedball Mike Bailey. We'll be blowing the roof off of this joint for our very last time there. The tag team championships will be on the line as well as many specialty matches to be announced in the weeks to come. Join us Friday, November 11th. Check eventbrite.com or hogtownwrestling.com for details, and we'll see you there. All right, welcome back to Hogtown Wrestling Showcase. Jackson Jarvis finally got himself some composure. I'm here with the infamous Jay Moore. We're going to have our main event finally here, Jarvis against Atkins. 
I can't believe the main event is even continuing. This Billy Bradley is throwing the rule book right out the window. Well, I don't know why he's doing Jarvis, still in the ring. Well, yeah, he's talking to the referee now. He's saying, start the match, ring the bell. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Spitting beer right in the eye of Jackson Jarvis. Well, listen, you wanted the match started right behind the referee's back and right behind the president's back. Oh, big oh boom yes. right to the face. Yes, it's over right here. No, come on, give me a break. It's over. Hush. Oh, come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. You gotta be kidding me. The better half of Remarkably Professional, the better father oh, of Jackson. Don't, yeah, I'm not, don't even go there. Come on. You're lucky I didn't comment on it earlier. You're lucky. Hopefully, Jackson Jarvis won't wash this back. Looks like he's been knocked completely unconscious again. Rex would make a great dad. What's wrong with you? Well, did you see the back of his head smack the mat? He was not expecting that. He was blinded. Didn't even see it coming at all. Doesn't matter. You wanted the match. You got the match. And now you're unhappy with the results. Oh, come on. Here comes the chain. Yes. That big 10-foot logging chain that Rex carries around. Matt Bradley's still out there. Come on, Matt. Do something about this here. Well, what do you want him to do now? Something you can do. The match is over. Get in there and raise Rex's hand. We gotta cart this guy off the loony bin, Jackson Jarvis. Oh, oh, another one again! Look at the impact! Come on! Let's get some medical attention out here. Jackson Jarvis obviously has no idea what's going on. This could be the last time you see Jackson Jarvis here at Hogtown. Because he's gonna get hogtied by that big logging chain. <laughs> well, we just got all of the locker room to the back and under control. They probably don't realize that this is going on in the ring yet. Oh, come on, he's tying him up yes. in the corner with that logging yes. chain. Rex is doing a good deed for all of society. Lock this man up. Throw the key away. Oh, dirty Rex Atkins with a dirty mind here. Who knows what he's up to with this. Jackson Jarvis is out of his mind. I can't believe this is somebody's father. Mental issues. Well, yes, with a brand new family, his young son Jack, who's absolutely gorgeous. This kid is awesome. But his, his wife and his family and his son, they are not going to appreciate your words. And look what's going on here. Rex with some words for Jackson Jarvis. Who knows if he can even hear him properly. I think he's half unconscious here in the corner. Look at Rex just laying it in him. Of course you're Perfect. happy about this. Oh, oh yes. Now that's grounds for disqualification and a suspension. No, that's Rob Gosling. He deserves it. <laughs> Please, what's going on here? Raise Somebody get Jackson untied. You know, Rex Atkins could be the greatest wrestler here at Hogtown Pro, I think. Oh, there goes that key. How <laughs> disgusting. You know, you're always talking about your specific contract with Rogers yes. exclusive. Yes. Your bosses should be disgusted with this action and with those lewd actions well, where he's put that key and all of this in general. Blame your president, Billy Bradley. You wanted oh! the match. Oh, you got the match right in the side of the face. Look the big dummy he is. Have a beer, this Rex. This is serious. This bud's for you, bro. And with the history that Jackson Jarvis has had this year with head issues, three huge big boots ah. right to the head. <laughs> He's been beaten in the corner. Now, beer, the Have disrespect. A shower. Oh. Have a shower. Paint brushing him right across the face. Did you hear that, Jay? Rex is such a nice guy. <laughs> Give me a break. You're such a nice guy. He even gives him a shower after a great battle, a great match here. We had at the Super Wonder Gallery, Hogtown Pro, Rogers Television. This Speaking is great. of Rogers Television, we're going to get out of here now. This is disgusting. I hope, I'm sure your bosses would want us to fade to black. We're out of here. We'll see you next time on Hogtown Wrestling Showcase. I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. And I'm sure Jackson's going to get his hands on Rex Atkins sometime soon. Disgusting.